rivers are funny things. You know, this is probably one of the most studied rivers in North America. You know, the river moves around a lot, and what was once a good place is no longer a safe place. You look at McGrath on a map, it's a big kind of keyhole shaped thing and it narrows right down. And that's where it narrows, it's right there. So in theory, it could have made us an island. It's always deteriorating. It's hard, but it's a wild thing. When it became super apparent that we were having more and more erosion, we lost in some areas, two lots deep where there were houses. We still have people living in McGrath who were born in a house that's long gone. And certainly so much more of that has disappeared since 71 when we moved here. So it was really important to start seeking assistance So we're here in McGrath, Alaska, and uh, you can see the Kuskokwim River. The Kuskokwim is the lifeblood of the city of McGrath. That's why a lot of the people live here. However, it causes some problems too, and it has definitely caused some erosion problems on the bank here, which has uh, threatened the, the floodproofing levee and uh, threatened some of the, the houses and other structures in town. They're fighting against time, they're fighting against the weather, they're fighting against the river stage. It, it, it's all about a fight in time up here. McGrath is fortunate in that uh, they have access to this quarry, albeit seasonally. Um, many places in Alaska don't have access to, to good quality rock for projects. While they're producing rock out here, blasting, doing the other steps, they'll start hauling this rock into town. Then they'll start taking from that stockpile and placing it on the riverbank. Uh, we started incorporating a stream barb just upstream of the end of blanket riprap. Stream barbs, instead of blanket protection like we have upstream, was chosen because it was a more economical solution for tow erosion in this stretch of river and they've proven to be quite effective in the proper use. This project was constructed under the Emergency Watershed Protection Program, usually referred to as our EWP program, but it's not just an open book. We can't just go on forever. This is an emergency project and it's important that it get in place as quickly as possible to protect the community. When McGrath first requested assistance from NRCS for this bank erosion problem, at the rates this bank was eroding, um, had this project not been installed, many, many structures would have several years ago uh, fallen into the river and become non-functional. And that loss of, of that infrastructure would jeopardize the very existence of the, the city of McGrath. Without infrastructure like this, we're cooked then we're at the will of the river. Well, you know, growing up here in McGrath there, uh, and, you know, I could see the trend as uh, warmer weather, but more snow the last four years. Real critical on the game populations, you know, we're losing our moose, probably lost better than half of the moose in the last couple of years. And the ice is a lot thinner. You know, uh, when I was a kid there, I, you know, it was, it was common to have ice that was six, seven foot thick, you know. Now it's just uh, more water. You know. Yes, if this existing erosion control, actually two projects was not here, McGrath, it, it would probably be gone by now. You know, I mean, it just, because it was happening so fast. So we were just so grateful for the assistance. I will just say that we do have Brett and Brant here who are the two people that I worked with <coughs> over all those years and have just appreciated their educating me, educating the city council and the community has made all the difference in the world for the sustainability of McGrath. Uh, so greatly indebted to their services that have been provided. 
the federal government has kept us alive. You know, it's been wonderful. They took good care of us. <laughs>